A resident of Ndeva, only identified as Simon Semuju, is seeking for government's intervention in his ongoing feud with Iga Francis over a piece of land. <laughs> Semuju claims that Francis wants his employee not, not only obstructed his access to his own land but also made threats against him and his family. In response to these allegations, Iga Francis contends that Semuju is a person he had nurtured from nothing akin to a son. Semuju's precadment arose when after years of land ownership he sought to develop his property. In pursuit of an agreement regarding access to his land, he approached Iga Francis, who categorically refused to grant him passage, even after Semju offered him 10 million. Subsequently, Semju resorted to legal action, which culminated a courtroom victory. Against Iga Francis. Nazibe Kuo, Nemua, Nenda Kutesa, Nay, Nenda Kiza Kutesa. We are Kiyavanga Kizo Kutesa, Nagama, and Pray Pat a million year video Zinte, Kueku, Nemga and a Kue, a million in Kumikuanga, Takayan, at the teacher, but if you manage Kiriko. Semuju father alleges that Iga Francis, in a shocking turn of events, sent three hired assassins to take his life. Fortunately, he survived these attempts, attributing to his survival to divine intervention. When Kenya, your government is ruling, you are ruling the Musonge. It is a very tough. Kuba government, government, you know, move at government. Nenga, the Baba is a government in Mono Yesaba. No, no, such a thing. 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 No, Various residents in the area have shared their perspectives on the ongoing conflict between Iga and Semuju, shedding light on the complexities of the situation. Simon Semuju has fervently called upon the government to extend its support emphasizing that his life and well-being of his family hang in the balance due to the actions of Yiga Francis. Jamil Sekaja and Mukwaya Benon, UBC Tonight.